Hello and welcome to the first official sea trout session of spring 2021 for me. I'm super excited to do this and we actually, as I started speaking, we have some snowflakes coming through here, which uh, yeah, <laughs> it ain't very warm yet. It's about zero degrees and wind from the north, but hey, that doesn't stop us. I'm out fishing with my guide colleague Jerome, who is over there in the corner. We're gonna talk with him during the video as well and hopefully we will get into some sea trout. Let's do this. As you see you have the sun in, in the frame. It's, it's just prior to sunset. Heavy snowfall, wind from the north, but I'm still very optimistic about this. I'm fishing the two predator dubbing bait fish that you could see in my previous video. That worked well. Now it only got into a stone right here. Even though it is um, that I'm fishing with a floating line, I've decided to fish with this little fellow. It's a floating space shrimp that uh, because I felt like I got stuck too much in the bottom with the other fly uh, even though with the floating line I couldn't fish as slow enough as I wanted so having something that stays uh, like suspending in the water I think that's gonna be ideal here and it's bright too now when it's getting low light uh, hopefully that would do the trick because about the coldest weather was the temperature of the year it's like in early March usually so you need to take it in the sea trout's pace. So currently I checked the temperature and it's 2.5. So quite cold water at the moment. That's, um, that's chilly. Perfect time for this floating space shrimp. I uh, would be very happy if we caught a fish on it. I would tie it in the end of the video then. Stay tuned for that, see if it happens. So sunset is very soon. I'm gonna have a little walk uh, further here. Not because I don't believe in this spot, but we have plenty to cover. And I think it's pretty nice that since today is my first fishing day with Jerome this year, we'd like to fish a little bit closer to him. He approaches some nice rocky area here. Then I'm gonna catch up with him and uh, we see which one that can find a trout there. I have a feeling that it will be there for sure. Uh, not for sure, <laughs> that's what I hope at least. Let's continue very soon there. I have one! It... it... <laughs> I had a strike earlier in the cast, definitely. <laughs> and there it was. So cool, wow. A little jumper, I think it could be a fat short one. Probably a rainbow trout. It took the floating space shrimp. The orange one. So great. I think I'm not having a net assistant right now. So rather Jerome is Still casting, and I think that's great. There's probably more of these. It's a silver fish that is coming in here now. Let's see what it is. It's a trout. Yeah. No, 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 net was tangled. Damn it. Oh, there. <laughs> awesome. Took really hard on a floating space shrimp. Fished roly poly. So, at this very second, it's two minutes before sunset. And it's pretty grey, you can't see the sun anymore. And that was the moment it took. Super happy about that. Uh, I just started to, for the last like 10 casts, to retrieve Rolly Polly. I felt like I could fish slower once I put on this floating space shrimp. And since it's so cold in the water, I thought this could be, could be paying off to do it. Uh, a gentle take first. 
kept on retrieving and later in the cast there was uh, the fly actually came off here in the net so it wasn't greatly hooked this little uh, you can see how bright it, bright it is now in the dark right in the sunset incredible that was basically the same minute as the sunset super happy about this took floating space shrimp and it's yeah it's a wild one very nice fish maybe we can show a little bit more sunlight on it super cool gonna let this one go very fat actually super thick you know it's like really sturdy yeah <laughs> great fish thanks a lot now it's uh, like yeah as i talked about in the last video it dies off the same moment as the sunset we're gonna see if we can challenge that in this video we'll see let's find out great fun that i managed to catch one more now in the very like this is way past sunset and it's possible you can catch the sea trout post sunset that was a big argument in the last video i had that i didn't thought it was was were gonna be possible but today we proved that it w was working i don't know if i managed to film on the gopro they take but yeah here it is about a 60 centimeter slim fish took in the very last light of the day it's pouring down snow now freezing cold i look forward to get inside and we're gonna tie the fly that i caught both fish on the floating space shrimp let's do it before we begin with the fly tying i just want to quickly show and explain what this fly is intended for it's a fly that niklas bauer made for the gotland fishing and uh, when you fish in shallow water and in cold water you sort of want something that's staying level in the water when you make a pause let it hang there for a long time that this can be the key for catching them in cold water like in winter or early spring but also it's proven to be a great evening fly like you fish in the dark you want something that is presented near the surface this one is not skating on the surface it's going just below this fly has been in a Thai TV episode by Niklas and it's just a phenomenal fly that I started using right away as soon as I saw him fish with it during the years, I think I have made some small tweaks compared to the original by him. I'm not saying this is better anyway, I just think it's interesting to see different styles of tying. So I did, look, I did not look again on his video before I started making this video. Instead it's going to be interesting to look it afterwards and see if there is any, any difference there. But here you have the two favorite colors. I'm going to tie the orange. Niklas is going to tie the pink, I'm going to get to it.